Good afternoon, and welcome to today's machine design webcast. Our topic today is five retaining ring solutions to frequent application design challenges, sponsored by Rotorclip. I'm Jeff Kearns with Penton Designs Engineering and Sourcing Group. To begin, let me explain how you can participate in today's presentation. First of all, if you're having any technical difficulties during today's session, simply hit F5 to refresh your webcast console. If you need assistance solving common issues, please click on the yellow help icon below the slides. Additionally, we welcome your question during today's event. We will answer as many questions as possible during the Q&A session that will follow the main presentation. But please feel free to send your questions at any time. To do so, simply type your question into the question window on the side of your screen and hit the submit button. Also, please be aware that today's session is being recorded and will be available on the Machine Designs website within the next week. You'll be notified by email when the archive is available. Now let me introduce today's speaker. Jay Nossen graduated from Rutgers University School of Engineering with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. He has worked for Rotorclip and for over five years as a technical sales engineer, reviewing prints and coordinating between production customers and customer sales representatives. He is also the lead contact for OEM customers for Rotorclip. And in his spare time, he enjoys uh, cycling and woodworking. Now let me turn things over to our presenter. Jay, the floor is yours. Thank you, Jeff. As Jeff mentioned, my name is Jay, and I'm a technical sales engineer with Rotorclip. At Rotorclip, technical sales engineers assist customers with initial designs, print review, product selection, and pricing. We work closely with OEMs and distributors and help select the correct part for your application. Today, we'll start with a quick overview of Rotorclip as a company, and we'll review some common design challenges. So Rotorclip as a company was started in 1957 by Robert Slass. Today it is 100% owned by his two sons, Jonathan and Craig Slass, and day to day they are both very involved in the company. Craig focuses on the sales side and Jonathan on the engineering side. Um, Rotorclip has 400 employees worldwide, and that is between our two facilities in the U.S. and the Czech Republic and our sales facilities in Europe, in um, Germany, Great Britain, and also in China. Rotorclip is a vertically integrated company. This means everything from wire production to engineering, tooling, production of actual parts, heat treatment, packaging, uh, maintenance and service of our equipment and tooling, warehousing, and also our marketing and inside sales and outside sales are all done in-house. This helps us control lead times, which also leads to lower prices and lower minimum order quantities for our customers. On the right side of the screen, there's four pictures. The top one is a view of our rolling mills. Um, Below that is a view of our stamping room. Below that, a couple of rings going through the heat treat process. And finally, our shrink-wrapped packages ready to be shipped to our customer. Rotorclip has three main production methods, stamping, coiling, and laser cutting. Stamping is often seen at rings two inches and below, and um, basically is a faster production method than coiling or wire forming. However, you do end up with more scrap. That's why at above two inches, we make a quick switch to coiled and wire formed parts, which will have a slower speed but less scrap. So it ends up with lower prices for us and lower prices for our customers. We also have laser cutting equipment for prototypes and specials. Um, if you have an odd shape that isn't easily tooled, or if you have low quantities that tooling isn't justified for, we can still help you out there. We can also make prototypes. That way you can test apart prior to an investment in tooling or a full production run. Rotorclip takes quality very seriously. We are ISO TS certified and also recently 
had our audit for IATF, which will be replacing the TS certification um, in the coming year. We are also ISO 9001, AS 9100, and ISO 14001 certified. The pictures up top show our quality labs, which include salt spray testing equipment, um, a hardness tester to the right of that, and a couple of precise measuring devices. The overview of today's um, presentation is all rings have a function, and choosing the right ring and choosing the proper design will help your application, help your assembly, and help your product function properly. We will now review some common design challenges that may occur when choosing the correct, when trying to choose the correct ring. Uh, 